Okay. So let's find a comfortable meditation position. And as I always say, this doesn't have to be sitting up. So it's, it's important that the spine is long. Whether you're sat in a chair is fine, or if you're lying down on your mat, really allowing the energy to flow through the spine and allowing the breath that's space so that we can fill the diaphragm whatever way we need to. And so this evening's meditation is going to be about the end of day reflection. So uh, Buddhists typically meditate in the morning and in the evening. And part of the evening meditation is to reflect on any, they don't call it regrets. So I'm going to rephrase, we probably call it regrets in Western society, but they look at things that they've done that they would like to do differently. So maybe things that they, yeah, that they just would have done differently had they been in a different mind space. So we're going to start working on some of that. So let's get into our open space. Closing the eyes or finding a gentle focus point. And imagining we're sat or lying down somewhere with an open space that's overlooking something. It could be overlooking a city, other mountains, a body of water. Grounding ourselves in this space. So what do we see? What do we hear? Focusing on the breath. So as we inhale, nice and deep breaths. So the stomach fills, the chest ribs, the shoulders, not necessarily in that order. And when we exhale, allowing the body to gently move towards the spine. Inhale an even, even deeper breath. So the belly expands, the rib expands, the chest and the shoulders might lift up. Exhale, keeping that long spine but relaxing and exhaling out all of the unpleasant, disturbing thoughts or emotions we might have. Taking a moment to listen to the body, noticing if there's any tension, maybe in the face, in the shoulders, in the groin area. Inhaling a white light. This white light is calm, peace, strength, whatever emotions, comforting, safe emotions we need right now. Exhaling out any undisturbing thoughts, maybe any areas of tension in the body and pushing them out into this open space. The mind is wandering, bringing it back to our open space. Remembering that it's safe, free of judgment. It's our private place. And we only invite in those who we want. Focusing on lengthening the inhales and the exhales. And with an open mind and a non judgmental mind, focus on things that you wish you would have done differently today. So maybe we said something to somebody in a way that we wish we wouldn't have. 
Maybe we even ate a certain food that we said, oh, we're not going to eat junk food anymore. Or maybe we didn't do something that we had planned to do. This is a very tricky thing to do. I mentioned we're doing it with a non-judgmental mind. So understanding that we're all human and we make mistakes. And it's important to reflect on mistakes or things we wish we would have done differently so that we can use them as a learning tool and avoid repeating them. So when we think about something, oh, I wish I would have done that, instead of, oh, I wish I would have done that, was, oh, I didn't do that today. Oh, it would have been much kinder if I said this instead of what I actually said. So making it into a positive. And now bringing the attention to how you handled something differently than perhaps you would have yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. So something, you know, that we handled in a positive way. We broke out of some kind of pattern. And again, this is non-judgmental, so we don't want to say, oh, I did it better than this person, or I handled myself well, but this person didn't. There's no judgments, there's no comparisons to others. Only how we've improved within ourselves. Did you notice any changes in your thought patterns? Just spending a moment reflecting how maybe you thought differently. And again, I'm not necessarily saying a positive way, it's non-judgmental. We can catch periods of anxiety, depression, before they get really deep if we focus on these things. So perhaps, oh yeah, I spent a lot of time being negative today. Again, non-judgmental, we all have those days. I had that day today, I have to admit. Being aware of it. The mind is beginning to wander, bringing it back to noticing any any change in the thought patterns. And remembering any thought patterns that we have, whether they're negative or positive, can always be changed because we make up the story in our head. We make up the script. We choose to listen to somebody who's being negative or positive to us. So what do we want the message in our head to be? Bringing it to the compassion of other people's, uh, other people. In what ways were you kind to others? And if you weren't kind to other people or weren't around other people today, that's perfectly acceptable. Um, think of ways you were kind to yourself. How did you take care of yourself today or others?
What would you like to improve for tomorrow? What would you like to do differently? Whether it's actually going to happen or not is irrelevant. It's what desire do we have to improve? Maybe we're going to see somebody that we didn't particularly speak kindly to. So how can we speak differently to them tomorrow? Or how can we take better care of ourselves or other people tomorrow? How can we improve that thought pattern? Now rejoicing in, in the things that we did well today and the ways that we were kind and compassionate to ourselves and other people. And looking at the times that we weren't and acknowledging that there's room for improvement as everybody, every single human being can improve. And right now you're taking the time to do that, to sit back, to reflect. So rejoicing in that fact. Rejoicing that you're human who makes mistakes and is one that can work towards rectifying or changing them. When I say rejoice, you can simply report, um, recite in your head, I rejoice in my ability to be kind. I rejoice in my ability to reflect. I am a human that makes mistakes, and I am a human that is kind. There's always a balance, a yin and a yang. And if you found tonight's um, meditation or reflections difficult to do, that's perfectly normal too, it takes practice. Um, I have suggest, I won't do these nightly, but I suggest doing this nightly. I've just done that, we've done that for about 13 minutes now, and we're not finished yet. But with that part, with the daily reflections, I think it'd be useful. And then it gives us a little bit of focus. It calms the mind, you know, we have, we've taken a few moments to settle the mind, to let what happened to us today kind of sit in our minds and we can make some sense of it. So it's actually a really useful tool that I probably don't use enough. I'm starting to now and I hope to continue. But if you don't, that's fine too. It's spending this moment is what's important right now. So before we end the meditation and leave our, our um, open safe spaces, I'm going to do an exercise, relaxation exercise, called Melted Butter Meditation. So for those of you who are going to sleep soon or possibly are in your bed right now, um, this will be a great way to relax. Imagine on the crown of your head that there's a lump of gold-colored butter. And as it slowly melts, it's gonna run down the body. And wherever it runs down, all of the stress and the tension in the body disappears. So very slowly, the butter flows and melts over your forehead. All of the muscles in the forehead relax. It runs down over your eyes, and your cheeks. Your whole face relaxes. And the butter runs along the back of your head, your neck, 
your shoulders. Feel how much tension is there and let it go. Allowing the butter to melt gently over the, that area of the body, the neck, shoulders, head. And the butter slowly melts down the arms and the hands. the chest and the belly. The stress and tension disappears. Butter melts along the spine. The entire back relaxes. melts down the legs and into the feet, releasing any tension and stress that the body's holding. The entire body is covered in golden butter and you radiate health. Going to run through the body parts one more time. And then breathe out any remaining stress. So with all of the exhales, we'll melt away any remaining tension and stress. Runs over your forehead. All of the muscles relax. Runs over your eyes and your cheeks, relaxing the face. Along the back of your head, your neck, shoulders. Down the arms and the hands, the chest in the belly. Along the spine, the entire back relaxes, your legs and feet. The entire body is relaxed, free from tension, free from any obligation to be supporting and holding the body. Taking in deep, cool breaths, starting from the stomach and really filling up the lungs, the diaphragm. Exhaling out any remaining pieces of tension, any disturbing thoughts. Now standing up in your open space, imagine that you're feeling light and free almost as if you're floating. We have a very light rucksack that we're actually gonna have an animal of some kind, a horse, a donkey, a dog, whatever it might be that's gonna carry our rucksack this evening. Replacing in the, a tool from today, perhaps whatever you want to improve for tomorrow or do differently tomorrow placing that in the rucksack. And closing up the rucksack. 
placing it on the animal's back. Slowly, gently, calmly, almost as if we're a feather drifting. Visualizing ourselves walking back into whatever space that we're currently in. Paying attention to any sounds around the room that you can hear from my upstairs neighbors. <laughs> they were particularly noisy this evening. And gently opening the eyes, becoming visually present and aware of the space that we're in. And dedicating this practice and the, the good healthy bits that we've done for ourselves today, we're going to dedicate it to somebody who needs it. There's a lot of people that need a lot of compassion and good thoughts at the moment. So I'll recite the four immeasurables. May all beings have happiness and the cause of happiness. May they be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May they never be dissociated from the supreme happiness which is without suffering. May they remain in boundless equanimity, free from attachment to close ones and rejection of others. And thank you very much for watching, for taking the time to work on yourself, for taking the time to get a piece of, of possibly new knowledge and wisdom. And I wish you a very relaxed, calm evening. Any questions, comments, please send me a message or write them in the comments box. So thank you for watching and have a mindful and present evening. Bye.